coming to you live in the Crazy Man Workshop. Today's how-to is uh, changing the cooling fan on a PT Cruiser. Having an issue with the air conditioning. Um, it's not blowing cold. The low side pressure skyrockets and then it burst of refrigerant out the bottom of the compressor because of the uh, high pressure blow off valve. I didn't realize how critical the airflow through the condenser, the piece in front of the radiator is, to air conditioning function. I got this makeshift fan here uh, that came out of a HVAC system and I cannibalized it and use it for a cooling fan and whatever. You know me. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, I have the pressure gauge, this little funky pressure gauge here. You don't need high-tech crap. This thing here at Walmart uh, to put your refrigerant in. But it's got a cool little pressure gauge here. And um, so yeah, that was the problem. It would blow out the compressor. When you're driving the car, it's fine. It's 40 degrees coming out the uh, dash. Pressure cycles on like it's supposed to. Come to a stop. Pressure goes high. Spikes. Psh, right out the bottom of the compressor. Psh, psh, psh. So, what the heck? The cooling, it's not overheating. The engine's not overheating. The cooling fan cycles on and off like it's supposed to. Well, I come to find out, uh, it's a two-speed fan. Dos speeds. And low speed didn't work. Low speed didn't work. Right here. There's your fan. So I started playing with it. Anyway, so make a long story short, um, I was playing around with this fan here. And um, I got some airflow through there, and the air, air conditioning worked fine. I turned that goofy fan off, and the pressure spiked, turned the fan back on, and the pressure came right back down. I was just amazed how quickly uh, it responded. Anyway, so long story short, if you got an issue like that with your PT, or I guess uh, any, pretty much any car, uh, it's a cooling fan. But this particular one is an 03 uh, Cruiser. I've been working on it for my daughter. Just about done with it, just having these air conditioning issues. And so here we are, the fan. So the new fan is right here. Uh, what did I pay? I think I paid 70 some odd dollars for this sucker. 73 bucks, something like that. Anyway, to get it out, uh, we'll go through the uh, installation procedure because I've already taken it out. But anyway, you want to take off the... Um, you want to take off the front grill piece, which has a couple screws there, and the on each side, then the grill piece comes off. Then you want to take this core support radiator core support off that has the uh, the hood latch and all that. Just lay just lay it right on the front bumper there. No big deal. And then uh, then your radiator will flop back and forth, which you're going to need. Uh, you want to take all the bolts. There's six bolts for the fan. Two at the bottom, two at the top, one on each side. You want to take out your um, dipstick, because that gets in the way. And you want to take and it's 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 tight, but you can get it. So let's go ahead and get the sucker back in here. I got me on your, my makeshift little thing here. If it'll stay. Uh, quality push man production, by the way. And uh, yeah, let's put it back together. Uh, you don't want to be looking at my back. Well, whatever. Here we go. Put it in. Which way does it go? There it goes. All right, get it around that upper radiator neck. It's a little tight. Couple boats. Put the two top boats in it. Uh oh. Did you have to pull. Great. 
great. No, this is a crazy man production. It's a crazy quality of repair facility. Let me see if I can find that boat. Boat. Probably gonna get caught in the fan. And then uh, it'll probably most likely go through the radiator. The new radiator, by the way. And um, and then probably burst into flames, skid out of control, and uh, hit a power pole or something. I don't know. You guys like all my failure anyway, so I might as well get it. Okay, let's get some hole. Oh, did it fall out? Did it? Did it fall out the bottom? Nope. Alright. We'll sneak around underneath and see what's going on. on the passenger side which is like high so you got to get that from the top and then there's one at the on the other side you get that from the bottom oh that little doodad fell off that fell off too so special Well, they gave me an extra doodad here. A little uh, clip and bolt. Let's see if we can utilize it. Uh, yeah, so. Whatever. These things really aren't bad to work on. They look pretty intimidating, but once you get the grill and the core support and a few other little bits off, you really can get to everything. I, uh, just a ton, ton of work in this thing. Just to get it ready for my daughter. And uh, I wish I really I wish I would have filmed the heater core replacement. That was pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm not gonna go through all this stuff. It's pretty much uh, self-explanatory. So let's go underneath and um, and take a look at that. If you guys do not have one of these lifts, you really need to get one of these. Get one. It'll make your life so much easier. It really will. I think I have the uh, the deal with the camera shutting off by itself fixed. I thought my son had it squared away, but uh, it was a no-go. Okay, I think that's it. That's it. Okay, we're ready. So there's the bottom of the fan. Assemble. Grab a couple bolts. Throw them in there. Um. That deal where it was blowing out the air conditioning, right here, bottom of the compressor. This is your um, high pressure high pressure cutoff switch right here, and this is the um, high pressure um, blow off valve here. Yeah, and so that's what all this green uh, crap is. It's from the uh, the leak detector I put in there. I had, it had some O-rings leaking, so. Had to put some of that stuff in there. It worked pretty good. I bought a little uh, black light pen. That worked pretty sweet. It's pretty good. All right, and you got a three um, three pin plug here, right there. Let's plug that back in. Piece of cake just snaps. Wait for the snap. And then you've got another. Um, let's see if I can get that other bolt started at least. And I gotta find that. No, that ain't it. I have to find that bolt that fell off. Where do you go? Where do you go? I don't know. Ooh. 
see if I can get this one started. It really helps to stick your tongue out while you're doing this stuff. Oh, what happened? Oh, I don't have, I don't have my radiator hose hooked up. <laughs> oh, where did that bolt go? It's really bugging me. Is it in the, did it fall into the fan shroud at the bottom? I really don't want to forget about that bolt. Oh, on it. I did the, um, I did the water pump, the timing belt, radiator, heater core, uh, yeah, did all that. I don't know where that bolt went. I really gotta find it. Well, <clears throat> okay, let's slide it down. So you get the bolts in, you get the plug on. I guess the main, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty self explanatory. Once you get that grill, grill piece off and that core support, uh, it's really pretty easy. I guess the main thing was to get the AC fixed. Show you, because there seemed to be a lot of stuff in the internet about the uh, air conditioning on these things uh, going wiggy sometimes. So sometimes they were saying it was uh, this switch and that switch and this valve and that valve and whatever. The orifice tube. I'm not sure where the orifice tube is. I, a couple of th articles I've read says it's in the high pressure liquid line, like you know what that is, or it's in the uh, receiver dryer, but I don't think that's my issue here today, so, but anyway, here's where you, here's where you charge it, this port here, and um, the receiver dryer is down there, see I had to take all that, all this off down here to do the heater core, so, yeah. Um, another thing, if you're changing all the hoses, I replaced all the hoses, these spring clamps, uh, throw these away. They're one-time use. I've had trouble with these things. I tried using them again on this time, and I had trouble with them. They don't seal properly, so just throw them in the garbage and use the, um, these uh, screw-type clamps. Ah, right there. It just peed all over me. Great! These screw-type clamps. Uh, the trick with these screw type clamps is don't over tighten them and then um, you know like maybe a week or so back when you're checking oil stuff like that go back over and, and retighten them all because you know the once the the rubber shrinks and everything settles in they'll they'll kind of get loose so unless you could find brand new uh, spring clamps but they don't I've had issues over the years with those things so I tried to cheat this time and I got uh, I got nibbed in a but, so, don't use them. Oh, what other things can we talk about while we're here? Uh, the, oh, the PVC hose I had to replace for the PCV valve. It broke off here because they had to take this whole intake manifold off to, to do the uh, spark plugs and all that, which is no big deal. It's only uh, one, two, three, four, five bolts here. And then there's a bolt here and a bolt back there and a few hoses and the whole intake manifold comes off or the plenum chamber, it's called a plenum chamber, comes off, top top part comes off. But the PCV valve, just use a 3 8 fuel line. Make sure it's fuel line because it's oil resistant. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's not a real big deal. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. I did the headlight treatment to this. I tried something a little different. Uh, I did I did use the Artesian well water, but instead of using the 400 grit sandpaper, I used uh, a thousand. Then I used 2,000, and it really looked pretty good after I got done uh, just doing it with a paper. And then a couple of coats of clear, good to good to go. Good to go. So yeah, get it ready to go. Give you a little walk around. It's a little, uh, it's a little woodman, it's a little woody, and it's got flint paint on it, so it's like gray, it's blue, it's green, it's really pretty cool. She's really pretty cool. I really like it, and it's in really good shape. It's only got 103,000 miles on it, which is nothing, uh, which is nothing for the newer stuff, really. Um. Uh, 
Um, yeah, got a moon roof, and all the bells and whistles. Mama wants to keep it. Mama says, I like it. I like it too. It's pretty cool. But anyway, it's going to my daughter. And uh, she's supposed to pick it up this weekend, but it didn't make it because of the AC issue. And uh, so she came down anyway and did all the paperwork. So it's hers legally. But it's mine mechanically. I guess that's it. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try to do another video this evening. A little thank you video for a little uh, goodie box I got. So I guess I'm gonna sign out for now. Uh, I hope this helps somebody, anybody. Working on a PT cruiser, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye,